Greetings. Brother Ravana Noon back here once again. You know, I've been on hiatus for a little while from YouTube. However, this is a new video that I'm putting out for YouTube. Uh, first of all, I would like to discuss the messenger, messenger of death. Samael is the messenger of death. And Samael is not readily, commonly talked about. Uh, people who walk the left-hand path, they tend to deal with the more popular, darker gods, draconian gods, or demons. But I like to work with Samael, exclusively work with him for a while now. And one thing I've learned is as a messenger of death, working with Samael, you are tasked with facing yourself. You're tasked with facing your own death. And that could be scary for some people because we have been taught to be afraid of death in this society. But death is as sure as life. You live to die, and then you die to live again. And I'm not speaking in the physical sense. I'm also speaking in a spiritual sense. On this path, you die many deaths before you're reborn because there's so many layers of us that we have to literally break through things we have buried deep with inside of us. Samael, the name coming from Hebrew, Sama, poison, El, God, or Most High, or Creator, or whatever name you want to use. Well, not coming from the monotheistic perspective when I speak of Samael. I'm speaking of the archetype, the characteristic characteristics that are Samael. Samael is a very strong, dark force. The force of Samael in itself can shake you. And when you're poisoned by Samael, you take the elixir or the sacrament of Samael it poisons you to the illusions, but more importantly, to your delusional mindset. See, many of us create delusions. Some of us have delusions of grandeur. And simply, Those delusions of grandeur makes us feel like we're more powerful than what we really are. We feel we're more advanced than what we really are. And what happens is Samael, through the alchemical work, the dark alchemy of Samael, you start to realize that, they're, that you're very delusional and that this concept of how superior, how great, how amazing you are is found in, a, it's a fallacy. Because when you work with Samael and you take that poison, you start to see the fallacies that you created about your greatness, how amazing you are, how wonderful you are. And you start to realize, wow, there's a lot of work I really have to do on myself. For example, I know people who dibble and dabble on the left-hand path. And they've come into the left-hand path. And because they're dibbling and dabbling, I see the effect it has on people who tiptoe in here, straddle the fence, dibble and dabble. 
it opens them up for things they're not ready for because their delusions of grandeur are starting to be torn down. And now they realize, oh my goodness, I'm crazier than I thought, or I have more issues and problems than I thought, or it can have an opposite effect. They think they're greater than they really are. They start to hallucinate in so many words that they are an incarnated being, an incarnated deity, an alien. And all of these delusions of grandeur creates these people today who go around acting like they're a messiah to a group of people. So when Samael takes hold, all of these things will be revealed. Your weaknesses will be revealed. Your limitations will be revealed. Your self-sabotaging pattern will surface. And I think that's what scares people because, see, they want to work with a dark God or let's say just a God or goddess who is comforting, who's going to pamper them and, and rub their head and say, it's going to be okay, baby. No, not on this path. On the left-hand path, you're literally thrown into the fire. The dragon's fire will burn away all the delusions that you've created. All the illusions that you give life to. And all the things you bury and hide will be met and dealt with. So I think that's one of the reasons why people are afraid of the messenger of death, Samael. Because to face yourself and all the lies you've created about yourself is to literally die to your own BS. Die to your, die just to die from all the nonsense that exists within your mind. When you feel like you have to be like, you know, challenging people and debating people, that's an issue. It's an issue because you feel like you have to prove something to someone else. Sorry, but through working with Samael, I've realized there's nothing to prove to anybody. The only thing I have to prove is to myself that I challenge myself to become greater than I was yesterday. That's the only thing I have to prove to anyone is simply to prove to myself I'm greater than I was before. People don't readily like things like that. They're afraid of the reality that they may be unmasked. Unmasked for the, the truth of who they really are and all of these trimmings they add on to themselves to hide and bury that is revealed. Like one thing I could tell you is when I got into the left-hand path years ago and to where I am today and the work I do, it has been a great change and difference within myself where what people say, what people feel, what people think about me doesn't matter. It didn't matter much before, but it definitely doesn't matter now. What matters is the work I put into myself, developing myself, growing. That's all that matters to me. Now, that doesn't mean that if you cross the line, disrespect me or try to hurt me or mine, that you won't get an ass whipping because you will. You just may get it astrally, spiritually, and even physically if it comes to it. That's, don't get that twisted like, oh, you know, um, 
that, you know, he's, he's more docile. No, no, no. I'm more aggressive than I've ever been. The difference is I have more control over myself as to when to unleash that aggression in ways that will benefit me the most. That's what Samael serves. He serves that power of awakening to the reality of yourself, your true self, without all these delusions that we have created about ourselves. I'm Tahuti Rabe. No, you're not. You're not Tahuti. You're not Ra. So that delusion starts to be torn down because you start to realize Tahuti is just an archetype. It's a symbol of the heights I can attain when I master myself and open up from within. Tap into the abyss, go into the void where changes begin and are created at. But no, I'd rather throw on a costume. This is how people really are a lot of times. They'll throw on a costume, create a new name and think they're different. But the minute a situation occurs that they've been triggered in the past, they're re-triggered again because no matter how many name changes you take, no matter how many costumes you wear, you're still the same person underneath if you have not done dark alchemy on yourself. You're still going to be that same old character, that same old individual. But that is what tends to happen over and over to people. And thus... They perpetuate this existence, this suffering, this misery they put over themselves because they refuse to go within. They refuse to go and deal with their shadow. And beyond the shadow, they refuse to go into the abyss where the most primal parts of yourself are met and seen heard and understood for once, truly understood for once in your life. They refuse to do that. They go, they refuse to go into the void because their ego, there's the true ego and the false ego. We're not trying to destroy the ego on this path. This is, that's a right-hand path mentality, annihilating your ego. We're trying to develop and exalt the ego. But we understand that the ego can also have a counterpart of falsity, where those are where the delusions of grandeur are created, that false ego. So it's necessary to walk on the path of self-mastery without delusions. It's important to ask yourself, what are my weaknesses? What are my trigger points? What are my habitual patterns that have constantly led me into situations and areas of misery? in my life. And if you can't figure that out, that means you, that your pattern has created a program so deep inside you that you need to go in there and break it. And somehow also allows you to understand something else, which is, I, which is what I've been understanding more and more. People are distracted by nonsensical things. I'm talking about silly, stupid things. I see people 
a few times ago on social media a week. I see people on social media posting every day, every night, posting memes, this and this and that. Dog, sis, bro, when the hell do you do work on yourself? You cannot tell me you're working on yourself if you're constantly posting memes, pictures, and all kinds of things all day, every day. And then they'll justify by saying, oh, this is my mimetic sorcery. Really, people? No. Do some sorcery on yourself. Wake up from your delusion. Put down the phone, get off social media, and do some real ritual to go deep within your abyss to create a change. Because many times people are social media because they are attention whores. They want attention nonstop. So all they do is post memes all day because they count how many likes you give them. And oh, look at all these likes. And all, who gives a damn? If I post something, it's because I like the damn picture. It's not because I want you to like it. It's because I like the damn picture. That's it. I don't care if you like something I like or not. If you do, cool. We vibing on the same mental wavelength. Cool. But if you don't, oh my God, I don't got a lot of likes. I'm hurt. So... I'm, that's, that's irrelevant to my happiness and to my growth and development. But people are stuck on that. For example, if you really are trying to work on yourself, it's a 24-7, 365, 366 job. It is. But the problem is this. I get so easily distracted by bullshit. So this week I go on social media and I see all these so-called witches posting left-hand path witches like that, posting challenge accepted, black and white pics. What the fuck does that got to do with you? And don't tell me it was because it was some what is it, Iranian or Iraqi woman that go missing? You ain't missing. Oh, I'm just putting knowledge and awareness to that. Why don't you put knowledge and awareness to your own bullshit, delusions, habitual patterns, and your weaknesses and transform that? What the fuck does that got to do with you, people? I just don't understand the minds of these people. And these are some of the people who claim left-hand path. I'm like, dude, you so distracted. It's not even funny. Like, dude, that got nothing to do with you. People, woman, that has nothing to do with you. Nothing. What about bringing attention to your bullshit? Your limitations. Your habitual bullshit, your issues. How about challenge except that? How about you go on there and post a list of all your weaknesses for the world to see? Challenge except that. Oh, you won't do it because you got to portray an image. Distracted by nonsense. So as much as you get the left-hand path is as much as people don't get the left-hand path. Nonsense. Wake up. Get off social media and do some damn work on yourself, people. It is like monkey see, monkey do. Followers. Most people on social media are followers. If you did the challenge, you are still a follower. You need to question yourself. Damn, son. As much as I'm growing is as much as I'm still programmed and I'm still a follower, I need to do some work. 
You're supposed to be a trendsetter on this path, not a follower. But anyways, I digress from that and go further into Samael. Samael is represented many times as a cloaked figure with a skull as a face, as a messenger of death. Also associated with serpents and the poison that a serpent can spread through your body with one bite. But these are poisons not of a negative nature insofar as you would view it from a right-hand path mentality. These poisons serve as elixirs, poisons to wake you up from the programming of the right-hand path, the programming of society, the programming of educational institutions, the programming since you're, you've been reared in this society. That's what the poison is serving to wake you up from but, and your delusions. Now I understand why people don't work with Samael as much as other demons or dark gods of this path. Because the power that comes with that poison and we start to wake up to our delusions of grandeur, our delusional mind state, and all the things that we created to mask ourselves, that poison tears it down. And for some people, that's all they have is this, this costume they wear and this mask that they wear. So I could understand why it would make people weak, why it would make them afraid to work with Samael or hesitate to work with Samael. But those in the Luciferian class that is currently happening now are about to find out the darkest aspects of working with Lucifer. They're going to find out the deepest, darkest parts about themselves. And don't run. Don't hide. Deal with it. Confront it and face it. Because that's the best you could do is to confront and face everything about yourself that you face, that you refuse to face and have been refusing to face for as long as you as you for as long as you have existed. That's what we're about to go into. Speaking of the Luciferian class, it's going really good, really great. If you drop from the class, let me know. Okay, the people who may have dropped from the class, let me know. If you haven't dropped and you may be having a financial situation, you have to the seventh to correct it. Okay, you have to the seventh to correct it and get back on. After that, I have to close the class again. But, be, but I'm saying that also to say that if you're not coming back on the class, I can open up spots for others who have been wanting or waiting to really be in the class. So being that said, right now I have seven spots available for people who are serious, 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 very serious about walking the left-hand path and wanting to learn the Luciferian current. What I mean is that we're going to deal with the dark and the light. The light is, in, is the intellect. It's the intellect that illuminates the darkness of ourselves that needs to be illuminated and brought to our attention to work on ourselves and master selves to be the greatest sorcerer or sorceress you could be. To understand the power of your darkness and how to use that power of your darkness. This is what the Luciferian class is about to go into, okay? So if you want to join, join now, but you have to August 7th. 
And at that time, I have to close the class. Right now, I have seven spots open until these people let me know if they're coming in or not. I will still let seven new people come in if you're really serious about joining the Luciferian class and mastering your darkness, walking the darkness, walking through the caves of your darkness and understanding your abyss. That's the class to take. So I'm opening that up till August 7th. Go on to Patreon. The link is on my YouTube page. Patreon, the Eternal Black Flame is the name of the Patreon page. The name of the membership level is called the Black Flame of Lucifer. You go there and you join. Then we still have like three, four months or more of that class. We're just getting revved up. You would have to catch up, but I have faith that you could catch up if you really want to master yourself and really understand this current and really walk the left-hand path. So I'm opening up seven spots for people who are serious and willing to do the work and come and master themselves and be the greatest sorcerer or sorceress they can be. It's open today to August 7th. Join if you really want to master yourself and understand what it means to go into the depths of the abyss, the gates of hell opening, and becoming the greatest God that you could ever be, the greatest God you could ever be. Walk it. Invest in yourself. And through that class, I'm going to also be sharing how to fix your credit, how to apply certain business principles and how to succeed financially. That class is going to go into that starting next week, which is the third class. If you feel you really want this, you want to catch up, join. That's all I could tell you is join. Okay. Cause we're getting into the nitty gritty. Now the work is about to go deeper into the shadows is going deeper into the darkness, into the abyss, and you will experience death like never before, only to be reborn greater than before. So let's work that current. Let's work that path. Let's get deep into this and make this happen. Also, other several, a couple other announcements. Maggie the Moon Witch, I will be having her as a guest on the Eternal Black Flame. After that, I will have the beautiful sister, Elizabeth Lilly. She will be discussing the clip path and other aspects. She does readings as well. And the advertisement and announcement is on the Patreon page. And soon um, she'll have her own Patreon page. But support, I ask all uh, people who are subscribers on YouTube to support Elizabeth Lilly. Support the Patreon page because we're building a community of left-hand path people. So you no longer always have to be solitary. You can be around like-minded people. And it's done in a virtual world. And as things start to heal from this scamdemic, then we can eventually come together physically face-to-face -face and do rituals and meetings and lectures and discussions, things of that nature. Okay, so support Elizabeth Lilly. You can come on, and when you come on Patreon, you'll see her information about the readings she does. She's very thorough, very good. Check her out. Also, another announcement I do clepathic readings through the initiations and rituals I've accomplished, reaching new heights within this path. I have, a, I do clepathic reading utilizing my very personal clopathic shells that have been consecrated, anointed, and activated. It's a very powerful reading. It's going to de deal with your darkest aspect and your shadow side. So if you want that reading, it's $50. But do not come to me wanting that reading and you're a wuss. This is, the reading is not for wusses. It's not for what you want to hear. It's going to be everything you don't want to hear about yourself, but you do need to hear about yourself because that's where your focus should be at. That's another class. I mean, another reading that I've now provided. My readings are more focused on doing clopathic readings. All right. 
So if you want a Klopathic reading, it's not like any other reading. It's very thorough, very pinpointed, and will expose a lot of the things about yourself that you don't want to know, bury, or, un or are unconscious of it. So that's also available as well. Contact me for that. Support the Patreon page, which is the Eternal Black Flame on Patreon. The link is on the YouTube page. Subscribe to Patreon for those who really want to walk this path. All right? It's beautiful to see y'all again, and I'll start doing more videos again, and some of the guests, I'll put some of the excerpts on here so you can see the guests, but the full videos will be on Patreon for the Patreon members. All right? Infernal blessings to all, and I will see you all soon.